everyone, this is Becky Winter. I am, <laughs> I'm with iHeart Art Studios and I'm just gonna give uh, just about a minute or so for people to join us here on Facebook Live. It's eight o'clock, just about. So I'm just, this is this weird time. So I'm just standing here waiting. Is anyone gonna join me? <laughs> oh, I see. There are a couple of you. Who's with me? Oh, I see three of you. Yay! All right. So this, I well, I already introduced myself, but you probably know who I am. I just feel like I should introduce myself. I am Becky Winter with I Heart Art Studios, coming to you live from my living room and I am so happy that you're here. So I um, had a lot of great feedback on my paint pouring event or the one that I did uh, with the paint pouring and so if you would like to see another paint pouring I would love to do that um, and maybe share some other ideas. I feel like there's all like I'm, I'm nervous that this one won't be as funny as that one but we're just gonna go we're gonna roll with the punches tonight. Um, I have now, okay, so um, yesterday I tried to go live on YouTube and Facebook, but it's a little too complicated, so I won't be doing that right now. But YouTube, thank you. Those of you who subscribed, I have 24 people who subscribed. I just feel like that's so exciting. So if you go to my YouTube channel, which I don't know, um, I, I have to figure out how to get a link there. Anyway, I am going to post, so I actually made a video that I'm gonna to post to YouTube, how you can make these little boxes out of cereal boxes. It's not there yet, but I'm gonna post it tomorrow. That will not be posted on Facebook, but it will only be posted on YouTube. So you can make these cool little boxes out of cereal boxes. They're just like little organizing things for staying at home and working at home since we're all at home. All right. I also wanted to quickly show you the paint pour from the other night that we did. <sighs> you can hear them already down there. I'm so sorry. Okay, I just wanted to let you know, it is actually still, there are still some spots that are showing that it's still wet in certain areas. So today, one, two, so this is two full days. So tomorrow, this probably will be dry enough to put a seal coat over the top. So, um, but there are still a couple places. Congratulations to Elizabeth who won this. And if you watched my Facebook Live yesterday afternoon, we took some, we found some sticks in the yard. I'm gonna show you the finished product so that way you can go back and watch it if you missed it. So this was what we had made. Oh, it's, it's kind of big. But um, it was with crayons and oil pastels and paints and then strings and sticks. Things to do when you're bored around the house. So um, just kind of a fun little um, decorative wind chime type of thing. That's okay. So. I'm actually really nervous about the alcohol inks tonight because I have dabbled in alcohol ink. I, um, you don't know what it is. Do you know what alcohol, give me a thumbs up if you know what alcohol ink is, at least. Um, it's, there are these little tiny containers. Um, there's different kinds of them. So. I was getting a little bit more prepared. I actually linked um, some, I put some links in the actual description already that sends you to Amazon to where I, I got these. And I did get some of them for Christmas, but um, they are, they can be expensive. So a couple things when you are working with alcohol ink is you want to make sure that your space is covered. Thanks for the thumbs up. Um, the reason being is these are permanent. Um, it is a very high pigmented that will bring you very bright and vibrant colors. It's, they're amazing, um, but they are, it, it does create, um, 
they are permanent. So a lot of people won't, um, they'll wear gloves all the time because they can stain your hands. And um, you can use the alcohol ink on any non-porous item, okay? So, <laughs> what does that mean, do you say? Well, I have a friend who told me I'm not supposed to tell you that I don't know what I'm saying. So, glass, you could use it at glass. So I got this at the dollar store, um, or like a little jar. It was the only glass thing that I found that I will maybe do a little alcohol ink on. Um, or a jar, you can decorate, kind of fun. I wouldn't do this on things that you're gonna be um, eating or drinking out of, but you can do it on plates and things for decal. Um, I have a couple tiles here. These are just little tiles that you can use. The other type of thing is I'm gonna do some alcohol ink on this is like acetate paper kind of thing. Um, it's see-through. So that way you can um, make this really cool look. You could put it in windows. You could make them into bookmarks. And I'll be using some Yupo paper. I'm gonna show you what that is. So I, this is the Yupo that I buy. It's really expensive, but right now when I went on Amazon, it was like half the price, but it's usually like $20. But what I do is you can cut it into smaller pieces. So this is 11 by 14 size, it's ginormous. And you only get 10 sheets and it's like $20, but it's basically like plastic. So, um, so I have it cut up and then I also have some premium printer paper that I thought I would try it on just to see because it does not bleed through. So this is the Yupo paper um, here. It doesn't bleed through, but I probably will lead through, bleed through on this. So a lot of people make cards and things like that with alcohol ink. Okay, it can also be fumy. So there can be, it's basically like alcohol, you know. Um, don't drink it, promise me you won't drink it. Okay, so down here, <clears throat> oh no, I gotta move my lights here quick. because I have this little thing set up so you can see what I'm doing better, except move my lights over here so you can see. There you get a better view right here, okay. Yeah, you can use photo paper too. Great, oh, the, the angle isn't as good on me though. <laughs> I don't know, you can see this. You don't care about looking at me, I know, but when I watch this back, I wanna make sure I look okay. Um, okay, a couple other things is felt I'm going to be using, and I basically just have a, a, a piece of wood that I put some felt over just kind of giving you all the things that I have here in front of me. And I didn't have a rubber band, so I used a hair tie. Um, I have a glass container because I'm going to be putting in the 91% um, rubbing alcohol. I have some in a little container like this that I dedicate for doing alcohol ink, but I also wanted to put some in a spray bottle because I thought that would be kind of we're gonna try a cool technique with that. A couple other things is a lot of alcohol ink, when you look online, it is like more abstract, but I have actually painted pictures with it. So I'm gonna use a paintbrush, try and paint a picture. We'll see how long this goes. Um, Q-tips, there's a lot of fancy things that you can buy, like blending brushes and things like that, and they are very helpful, but a lot of it is like a felt, um, piece of fabric that you attach to a thing. So this is just like the, the cheaper version. I do have these little, um, these are little squeeze things. Uh, I got them on Amazon too, but I haven't, I didn't link it because I can't remember what they're called, but they're little squeezy things. If you need to squeeze up some rubbing alcohol to put on there. And then I've got some toothpicks. So toothpicks because there's a really cool technique that you can do with toothpicks. So, the alcohol inks that I'll be using is I have the Jacquard um, Pinata, I think it's called. Uh, let's see, okay, yep. Um, here, I can, let me just show you really quick what I've got over here so you can see better. 
Okay, so, um, and I, okay, so I have a lot because I asked for it for Christmas, so I, it's pretty much what I got from everyone that I know, <laughs> um, and then I also purchased a little bit myself. So, um, this here, this is the Ranger alcohol inks here. They have a ton of different colors, and they come in, like, packs of three, so it's more cost-effective if you get a big pack but you can pick and choose the colors that you want to because you don't need to have all of these. And then the ones that I have back here in the back, these are the pinata ones with the white lids on them. And they also have some really cool metallic ones. Those are awesome. So I have metallic gold, copper, pearl, and brass. And then they also have, um, oh, and that's with the pinata brand. And then... Um, the Ranger uh, Mixative Gold. And the when they sit, you have to shake it. There's a little ball in there. Okay. So you want to make sure that the color, and that's only with the um, ones that are metallic in color. Okay. So. Okay, I'm kind of nervous because I just hope that this is going to work. I mean, I know it's going to work. I just hope that I can show you some cool things that we're going to do with it. So what I wanted to do, though, is I wanted to give a cool place up here for you to see it closer. Okay. So, like, here. Can you see that? Kind of. I'm going to have to do some things here. At least my dogs aren't going crazy tonight. I mean, they were when you first, when I first got here, but okay. Right here. My little light on there so you can see it better. I made a little like stack of boxes here so you could get a better look at it right here. Okay. So I'm going to move this big thing. I just didn't want to forget to tell you what kind of paper I'm using because you'll be like, what the heck is this Yupo? Okay. All right. So what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to start by doing some little drops on the um, paper here so you can kind of get a look for what is going to happen. So I'm going to do like blues. Okay. So it comes in these little bottles like this, and then you just want to put like a couple drops down and it dries within seconds. So if you wanted to do something with it, like, like blow it around, you, you want to do it right away. Oh, um, Okay, I got some air, so we can try and blow it around with air. Um, the only thing with this type of air is that it gets really cold, so uh, let me see here. Oh, tear tab off, okay. Ooh, okay, I got air. All right. <sighs> How are you guys doing tonight? It's been a gloomy day. Did you, anyone, or did anyone change to regular clothes today? <laughs> I actually showered, so, but <laughs> my hair is very frizzy because I didn't really do it. So, all right. Now, when the alcohol ink dries, you can actually revive it by using that alcohol, the rubbing alcohol. So, if I do little drops on it, do you see how the colors are... Kind of moving around. Okay, I'm going to then blow a little air. <gasps> mm, it's kind of cool. Then I can add other colors. Okay. Um, this is called pool. I'm going to just kind of put some drops on here. And a lot of people like to do the alcohol drops along with the drops of the alcohol. If I blow the air too much, then it's going to get like really cold. The can gets really cold. I'm not really sure what to. All right. Um, let me see here. This is turquoise. I'm going to just use a bunch of blues because it's kind of cool. Probably all the same. I'm like, I can't remember what color I used. Okay, so I'm just going to put a bunch of drops on here. You can just watch it as it goes. Be mesmerized. So, oh, it kind of came out fast right there. 
I'm gonna also then put a little couple more drops of this rubbing alcohol and do you see how it is changing when I do that there are a lot of really cool things that you can do uh, okay I'm gonna put some greens on it this definitely is very different from the paint pour so this is, um, Tamara, this is not paint. This is called alcohol ink. So it is, um, it is a high pigmented, um, fast drying dye formulated to create colorful, polished effects on non-porous surfaces. Lighten, blend, and remove colors with alcohol blending solution, um, which is basically like rubbing alcohol too. So. So you can pour a little bit of this. Now, um, it is, so I love this um, pinata pink color. It is super, super bright and vibrant. So I'm just gonna kind of tap a little bit on there or squeeze a little bit on there. And I'm gonna put a little bit uh, more alcohol. And I'm gonna blow it around with my air a little bit. Ooh, that was pretty cool. I feel like I need another, kind of blow it onto another paper here. Oh, and if you aren't careful, you're gonna get that muddiness that happens when the colors mix too much. Oh, I love that pink, isn't that pretty? That pink color there. Okay, so I'm just gonna set this to the side. It really is just a matter of seconds before it ends up um, drying. So it will be dry pretty quick. Then I'm gonna do some pinks. This is Signora Magenta. All right, couple drops here. Um, some more of this pink here. Oh, isn't that so pretty? Then I'm gonna add a little bit of white to it. So I've been trying to find a good time that works for people on Facebook. And so, uh, hi Lindsay, hi Meadow. Oh, my, more my mini makers, I miss them so much. It is pretty cool, it's very messy though. So it's kind of something that adults should probably do. But it is, it is, it's, it's pretty fun to play with if your mom or dad gives you approval for it. <laughs> um, just because these are permanent. So you want to make sure that you are protecting your surface. Woo! Very, very pretty and exciting here. It's so bright and vibrant. Okay. I am going to do something here. So this is going to be kind of fun. I'm going to put a little bit of the rubbing alcohol. This is the 91% and I got it at the pharmacy area at Walmart. I'm just going to put a little bit in my bowl. Now I'm going to take a little toothpick. Okay. A little toothpick. So there's a little bit in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dab my toothpick in there and I'm just going to tap it on and there's a tiny bit of alcohol then that's getting on there. And what it's gonna do is it is going to create little circles. I'll show you close up in a minute here once I get some on here, if you can't see them. So it is Saturday night. This is a very exciting Saturday night, isn't it? Okay, so this was working for me before when I did it. <laughs> okay, um, maybe I'm not getting quite the effect, but you can kind of see there's like these little, little dots here. Um, oh, my back hurts from leaning over so far. Okay, so, all right, I'm gonna show you something else because this is it's just not as exciting as I wished it was. Okay, so another thing that you could do, so I'm gonna use this paper here, is I'm gonna put some rubbing alcohol here and I'm gonna just kind of twist it around 
and see what happens. So I am going to use the lovely warm colors like yellow. So I'm just going to put some yellow on here. And then I'm going to put some orange. It seems weird. I know it does. It seems very weird. And I'm going to put some red. Ooh, poppy field. That should be pretty. I like trying stuff out with you. Um, I feel like it's just kind of cool to see how things happen. So I just put some on here. You can see it all looks pretty much the same color. But, oh, I think I'm going to put a little bit of rubbing alcohol here on my thing first. Okay. Oh. Okay, now all I'm going to do is I'm going to set this here, and I'm going to twist it in a circle. Ooh. <gasps> That's kind of cool. Okay. I feel like I maybe didn't quite do it right, but it is turning out pretty neat. A lot of people do this with the Lazy Susan, and I don't have the Lazy Susan. <laughs> so, okay, I'm going to add a little bit more red here. Um, all right, I'm going to put my red along the outside. I see why they want to do it with a lazy Susan because it's easier to turn it appropriately. And for those of you who are just joining us, welcome. I'm trying alcohol, <laughs> alcoholic, and I am not drinking any alcohol, just so you know. <sighs> okay. So. It looks so much cooler when I see other people do it, but it is still pretty cool, right? It's still pretty cool. Um, but I maybe I put too much, because I see all this spongy stuff there. Um, so I'm just gonna, <gasps> Ooh, do you see it change? That's really cool when it changes like that. All right, then, okay, I'm just gonna try and put some red on here, here, and some yellow here in the middle. And I'm just going to try and twist it now when it's like this. Let's see how it happens. Yeah, it's it's okay, I guess. Kind of looks like a little sun or something like that, like a little sun. Let's see if I come over here and do it. We'll have two of them. So what are you guys doing during the day? <laughs> um, what have you been up to? Thanks, Jane. Jane says she loves how I just go with the flow. Um, that's because I don't really have a choice. <laughs> um, what be cool? The black. Oh, that would be kind of cool. Um, so let me see here. I do have black. Let me find that here. All right. So I am going to put a little bit. So I may not be doing it exactly how you were thinking, but I'm just going to try putting a little black into my bowl and then putting my toothpick in it and then putting the black here. Um, okay, so it might actually be cooler if I just put a little black here. Should I swirl it around? You think? Where did my little felty thing go? Kind of swirl it around. <laughs> Maybe I'm gonna do make it into a little wave because I feel like it's just not as exciting as it should be. Can I see that? It's, I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna try making it into a wave. That's kind of cool. I'm going to add a little bit, a couple more drops here. Oh, and that's just kind of neat. Okay, so I'm going to take my Q-tip and just kind of move this rubbing alcohol out like this. <gasps> Ooh, you know, oh, I have a cool idea. It's kind of starting to look like something, but I want to do it with different colors. Okay. All right, so here's my plan. All right, I'm gonna put some sailboat blue. Ooh, that's really pretty. Then I'm gonna put some, that's sailboat blue too. So I have two sailboat blues. Um, indigo, that should be really pretty. Okay, that one's gonna be down there. 
then aquamarine. Okay. And let's see here. The ooh, Baja Blue. One of my favorites, I'm sure. Can you guess what type of scene I'm going for? Pool blue. And oh, I think we should do a green limeade. Okay. Now I'm gonna take some, I'm gonna take a little spray bottle with the rubbing alcohol in it and just do a little squirt. <gasps> Ooh, that was pretty cool. But now I'm going to use my Q-tip and I'm just gonna kind of spread this. Actually, I'm gonna use my paintbrush. Where did my little paintbrush go? All right, I need my, I need some rubbing alcohol here to make it go nice and smooth. We're trying it out together, so. All right. So, kind of looks like a watery scene, right? I also love the blues and the greens and the purples. They are super pretty. Okay, so I'm just gonna add the element of C. So this is the C, right? I'm going to pretend that this is the C. Now, see if I can just kind of move those around. Just get them a little bit cooler here. I don't know exactly. Okay. Now, with the purple, oh, I got open, okay, there we go. Okay, I'm gonna put some purple up here. All right, then I'm gonna put a couple little drops of this rubbing alcohol. All right, so it's just moving along on its own, but I'm going to bring down some cool little Okay, so I'm basically trying to make an octopus that is purple. <laughs> we'll see though. Oh, what's happening up here? I don't know. Are this my fingerprints? I have no idea. So my idea isn't working as cool as I thought it would be working. <laughs> but here, I'm gonna just kind of spread this out a little bit. Here, I'm gonna dip in my, I'm gonna round that out, make it nice and smooth. Ooh, do you see it? It's kind of taking shape here. Kind of cool. Bring down my little tentacles. They have eight legs, right? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh oh, where am I gonna get the other ones? Um, other side here. Uh, seven, <laughs> eight. Here, we'll kind of bring this one here. All right, I gotta fix this part up here. Kind of make it look like it's all part of a, oh, an octopus parade, I don't know. Okay, then I'm just going to do a little bit of dipping here. I'm gonna make some, I don't know, I don't know what I'm doing. I mean, I shouldn't say I don't know what I'm doing, but I don't really, it's just play, right? It's just playing. Okay, well, that's doing that. I'm gonna try some on this, which is like, in, it's like clear, okay? So, let's see, I'm gonna do some red. We'll see what happens here. Can I blow it around? Ooh, that's cool. Blow it here. Blow it this, oh, you can't even see what I'm doing. Here, I'll move this way. Can I see that? I think if I put this underneath it, then you can see it better. Oh, <laughs> look at that. Okay, um, just kind of move this. I can't, so I kind of made a mess here, so this is gonna come through, I betcha. Um, all right, so I'm gonna put a little bit here in the center. I blow this. 
Ooh, this is gonna be pretty. Do you see what it's forming? Kind of like a little flowery kind of thing. Uh, if I do this, and then if I lift this up, will it drip down to give it that flower stem look? I can help it by blowing it a little bit. It's getting there. I'm gonna add, let's see, what color is this? Watermelon to it. And a little bit more yellow. It's actually kind of cool to see how it looks. Oh, whoa, that kind of shot crazy. Oh, it's, hold on, it's frozen. <laughs> right now. Uh, so we have to. Oh, it's just like steamy. I don't. Oh, I think it's just frozen. So we have to wait for it to warm up a minute. <laughs> um, well, thank you. Yeah. So <laughs> um, I am not great at painting upside down, but I'm I'm trying. <laughs> so all right, a little bit more green here. We'll see if we can get this thing to come down a little more. Couple drips. There we go. And then it's starting to look like a flower. So if I'm gonna put some drips here, I'm just gonna tilt this to make it look like a flower. Oh, uh oh, I got a couple extra drops I didn't intend to do, but that's okay. We just go with the flow, right? All right, so that is kind of a cool thing here. Uh, let me, so you can see it's, clear oh it's kind of cool how it kind of ended there it's just like the extra there look it's like it's like I'm drawing um, in the air <laughs> so that is pretty neat all right now actually this turned out so this was just from the droppings that were here on the black thing um, on the tablecloth so that kind of turned out neat too so here's just a couple of those. Oh, okay. Now, let me see. What else do you want to know about? I <laughs> there is it there is a lot of fumes with the alcohol ink. So if I start getting a little overly loopy, it's not my fault, right? Um, okay. Now I probably pulled out more than I needed to over here because I have all these lids and I have all this crazy stuff happening. So, oh, on the tiles too. You can do it on tiles, which is kind of fun. It's the same process, basically. Um, I did a couple drips right here by accident, but I love, oh, let me do some metallics here. So this is a copper and I'm just gonna put some drops on here with the copper. Oh my gosh, I don't know if you can see that. It is like glistening. It is still glistening. Oh my gosh. Okay, I don't know how to explain this. I I promise you I'm not going crazy. I'm gonna take the, the I'm gonna try this again. I'm gonna take this off. See if you can see this here. Um, let's see, I'm gonna try and flip it around. Okay. Do you see that? It is sparkling. That is crazy. Okay, I'm gonna try rich gold, see if that works. I know! Okay, I have to take the cap off here now. Ugh. I'm doing it one-handed, it's kinda hard. Okay, so, still, come on, focus. Still, it's still glistening, okay. that it's almost like it's bubbling in there isn't that crazy that is so cool okay uh, I'm gonna try that I think which color was that that I did oh that was the copper it's still sparkling that is so cool I am so Amazing. Look at that. It is so sparkly. I feel like 
I just want to stare at it. <laughs> I'm so mesmerized by that. It is so weird. Oh no, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to make someone mad. Um, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I just saw like a mad face. <laughs> I hope you're not mad at me. Um, okay, so that is crazy. It is still super sparkly. That is so cool. So cool. Um, all right. I am going to add a couple colors to that. Just see here what happens. Um, blues and the pinks, because those are some of my favorites. And a little bit of the alcohol. Do a little squirt. Ooh. Ooh, this is very interesting here. Now it's almost like one of those dirty pours from the other night where it's like, so it basically lifted up some of those metallics and now it's moving them around on there. It's pretty cool. Oh, <laughs> okay, that was you. <laughs> Just making sure. Um, all right. So there is this very cool metallic look now that is on there. It is just so crazy. It still is kind of glittery. Here, let's see if I can get it close and then tap it to it. I don't know if you can see how glittery it is, but it is, it is pretty cool. It is just so mesmerizing. I'm so mesmerized. Okay. Whew. Well, this is my alcohol ink demo. I would love to give some of this stuff away because I don't need to have all of it. So I don't know if anyone is interested in the flower here. It really just takes like 30 seconds to dry. So um, this one here, this was the back, this one, it just squirted on there and it's dry already. Um, this one here, it is, oh, a couple sticky spots, but it's mostly dry. So it, it really dries very, very fast. Um, I wonder now that this is a little bit drier, if I can do the thing that I wanted to do with the, I'm going to try it here. So I wanted to try and put, so I have this tool I'm going to try using. It's, um, it has, it's kind of like a stylus. It has a little nub on the end. So I'm going to try and put, you know how octopus have those little, um, like sucker things. I'm going to try and put those here. I don't know how much it will show up. Um, uh, the fun thing about working with alcohol ink is it is just unexpected kind of like the paint pour um and so you always learn a little bit more every time you do it and i have just done some regular painting with it which is pretty cool um i don't think i'm getting quite enough but it is it is creating some of those little bubble things so I'm just tapping the rubbing alcohol on it and it then creates these spots that lighten up. Like they create tiny little bubbles almost, but they're not bubbles that stick up. It, they just look like little bubbles. So you can kind of see there, the little <laughs> bubbles. <sighs> Bentley is, um, so a lady is sleeping in the bed and he wants to lay by her. And so she's just angry because she wants to have the bed all to herself. So, um, do you have questions? Did you enjoy this? I know it was kind of boring, not as fun as some of the other stuff. Um, but 
I would love to, like I, I can still work on this and I can give this away and I can work on this. And so I have a few things here that I would love to give away. So if you have liked or commented this video, I will go ahead and I can draw a winner so you can go ahead and get some fun mail from me, right? Um, I, if you know a cool technique using the alcohol ink, please let me know. And um, there's just lots of really cool things. You know, some people would probably like frame some of this stuff. I think they make really cool bookmarks. You can't, oh, I know what I was gonna try really quick. I wanted to just try one with the premium paper just to see because with this Yupo paper, it doesn't bleed through, okay? And so I am going to try really quick just to see what happens here. I feel like all the colors that I have are like blues and so, okay, I can see already that the Yupo paper is much more sheen and plasticky. Oh, good, I'm glad that it's not too boring. Um, oh, here, you can't really see. So the Yupo paper is much more um, plasticky, so it moves around, it moves a little farther, but um, this is with the um, premium printer paper, which is cheaper, because you can get like a hundred sheets of the premium paper for the price of, oh, see, and look, it does, it bleeds through. But if you're not, you know, if you don't care as much, then I still think it's a pretty nice, I mean, uh, doesn't it, well, I think the Yupo paper is gonna be your best. Oh my gosh, I didn't even try it on this. Let me try it on this really quick too. Oh, I'm the highlight of your day? Well, good. Uh, Oh, I'm so happy to have you guys. This is kind of the highlight of my day too. You know, um, being stuck at home is fine, except when you have like a 14 year old boy who doesn't really want to hang out with you. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like I don't really talk to anyone all day long. <laughs> okay, you can do it on glass too. So I'm gonna try a little bit on here. Let's see what happens. I'm gonna try blowing some of it around. This might get really messy. Okay, okay. Laura, we're getting somewhere. Um, I kind of wanted to see what that cranberry. I should have probably looked at some examples of what people did on glass just so I would have a better idea. But, you know, it doesn't hurt to try something. almost froze it up. All right, so I'm kind of creating something here. Um, what other colors do I have? That watermelon color. I love these reds. I feel like they're so vibrant. And let's see here. Oh, some orange, that'll be pretty. I just love like the warm colors. there. Kind of hard to see it. If I stick a piece of paper in there, you can see a little bit better. It's just kind of a neat, kind of neat, something neat. Um, yeah, I guess I'm not really sure like what you would do. I mean, I guess just decorating it. That's kind of cool. The blue violet. Um, and let's see. Oh, it just looks so pretty when it gets spread out. What do you see those little veins? Like, it's kind of cool. Okay, let me find a blue one here. That Baja blue. So I had picked stuff up like this for um, when we had gone on vacation and collected shells. Now we never took any seashells that had living things in them. Um, we just took stuff that had, um, that was empty. And so kind of cool to display your shells in. Actually, I have one right here. Let me show you. So the first time my son and I went to Florida, we went to Clearwater Beach and we stayed at this tiny little mom and pop motel and it was super awesome. And we got up really early one morning and we were able to get just empty conch shells. So cool. 
Um, but we also found like a tiny starfish and none of this stuff was alive when we got it. But um, these are kind of handy to just display your things. I got these at the dollar store. So you could decorate something like that and oh, it almost looks like a sunset. Just looking at that. So then it kind of reminds me of being at Clearwater Beach because I just love it. Oh, yes. I had a dance party today with my mom and my aunt and um, our friend Carol. They all are at my mom's house and it was pretty fun. We turned face FaceTime on and danced around and, you know, <laughs> it's pretty cool, pretty exciting. We are all getting creative and finding ways to connect with each other. So my creative way of connecting is by coming live to you and figuring out YouTube. It's almost like I'm forced to, I just can't sit and watch Netflix all day. So, and I'm busy, but it's actually very exciting. Um, I'm gonna show you something really quick. Just a little side note. So um, when my son was really little, it was hard for me to find books that would help me be a better mom that were helpful for me because I've never been married or anything like that. So, um, but I found this book by, I can't remember how I came across it and it was called Single Moms Raising Sons. I actually pulled it out. This is one of the first books that I read that I was like, oh my gosh, I'm not like the only mom who feels this way. It was like, it was so amazing. Anyway, after I was finished reading the book, I seeked out, well, I didn't like stalk, but I sent an email because it was in here. Like, you know, email me if you read this kind of thing. It was so cool. So then um, I ended up emailing her and she is on Facebook and so back when my son was little like three or four um, we connected through Facebook so that's kind of cool anyway long story short she ordered a pet portrait from me so it's just so exciting like my first favorite author because I wasn't much of a reader so I didn't really have a favorite author um, but it's just it's so exciting I just love the doors that are opening through this very inconvenient time that we're going through. And so I just think it's really important to stay as positive as we can. And so I think the part of the reason that I want to show these videos and these do these little tips is just to help you get your mind off of some of that anxiety that you might be feeling. Because I know that I definitely get stuck in my head and have a lot of anxiety myself. And so it's helpful for me to get my mind off of that and then just to be able to share stuff with you. And so, that and her it's called the book is called single moms raising sons by dana chisholm uh, i think that's how you pronounce it but it's just so exciting um she's actually she subscribed to my youtube channel and um <laughs> so it's really awesome when you find someone who's kind of been through similar experiences in your life and who is able to kind of just walk through some of those things with you and then be encouraging to you and that kind of thing so um okay so I tried the glass piece here on the glass and I tried it here like this and on this paper. So I'm gonna collect some of these and I'm gonna send them to a special person. And um, as long as you've commented or liked on this video, then you will be entered into the drawing. And then tomorrow I'm gonna be posting on YouTube because I made the video already on how you can take a cereal box and you can turn it into these cute little um, containers that you can store your stuff in since we're all at home and we need new and creative things to do um, for working at home if you don't have the right things to organize definitely this was my first try and it's not as great. <laughs> this is my second and it turned out a lot better, but I'll be posting that on YouTube. Thank you to all the 24 subscribers I have on YouTube. Um, and I think that's all I've got right now. So I appreciate you all watching. Have a wonderful night. Keep being creative and please let me know if there's anything that you want to see. I would love to just create more with you and that's all I got. All right, we'll see you later. Have a good night. Bye.